hey guys it's your girl teen and welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video i decided to do a unboxing and an installation of a wig i ordered two wigs from love me hair yes y'all first of all let's discuss about now i opened the wigs so and i didn't put it right back in the right way so it's kind of a little like yeah it looks a little funny let's just talk about this boxing i'm loving this purple color and the gold like the gold writing and it's like kind of shimmery i don't know if y'all can tell not shimmery but it's like reflective dig in the box like the moment this came in yesterday and i opened it i was like yes this is the one i've been seeing a lot on instagram of headband wig now y'all remember back in the day when your mom and your auntie was wearing them headband wig that thing was like right here with no hairline but they was killing it they was killing it I'll, I'll give them credit it's back in style as you guys know and so many girls are killing it on so many different levels and i wanted to join the wave and see what the hype was all about so i ordered two um headband wigs i ordered a straight one which is 24 inches and a curly one which is 26 inches a deep wave this ribbon came with it and that's what the box looks like i love i already love this and i went ahead and like opened it looked at what was inside and they gave me these little goodies that were so so cute before i get into the actual wigs i'm going to show you guys what came in the box okay so as i mentioned this is an unboxing and an installation video this is technically 10 headbands because they give you five per wig and and I didn't know like, you know, they were actually gonna give you five. I thought it was like a hit or miss, you know, when wig companies give you gifts, but like not everybody gets it. But no, they're on their stuff. They're gonna give you everything that you need. So because I ordered two wigs, they gave me 10 headbands. So this is it right here. Super cute. I already know I'm gonna love this just by seeing what, what it looks like. I already know I'm gonna love it. So those came in the box. This little cute goodie reflective purse that has a couple things in here so i'm gonna open this up and show you guys number one we have the head scarf in love so once you lay your lace i mean this would be more effective for a lace wig but if you wear your lace you can use to tie down your edges they also gave me a um, edge control brush and i'm so mad because i ordered one on amazon like a few weeks ago and there was two in it I didn't know I was gonna get one, so now I got three extra. They gave me some bobby pins and this little like elastic band. So I believe this can go on the back of your neck, like so, if you want that wig to be more tighter. Now, I have a small head, so I'm a little nervous how this is gonna work out. Pray for me, y'all. They gave me tweezers um and it's kind of sharp too so this would be really good for plucking your hairline but it's a headband wig so there is no hairline necessarily to pluck and they gave me this little um cute clip that says love me so so cute so that's all that came in the bag this is super cute i loved i just loved it then they gave me a, a wig cap so i'm probably gonna wear this just so the wig stays fresh and it's not like you know your hair smell is all up in the wig cap you know what i'm talking about like your your wig doesn't smell like your natural hair and it doesn't dehydrate your natural hair so i always recommend wearing a wig cap when you wear any kind of wig now we're going to get into the actual wigs let's start with the straight one okay so the straight one is 24 inches and i'm not gonna lie it low-key looks a little long for 24 inches this is what it came in so cute like i love this purple y'all the texture of the hair is beautiful i'm here for it look at this it's so silky like it's really silky and this one that i'm wearing i got this one that i'm wearing right now from ali pearl it's a 30 inch wig this baby cost a lot okay way too much for me to be wearing it around on a regular i knew i needed like an everyday wig that i could wear and save these ones for like you know good occasions like going out and stuff because it's just it just costs way too much for me to be out here wearing it like that so that's why i had to get me these headband wigs and for the summer because your lace is gonna keep lifting in the sweat in the heat i can't be bothered dealing with that and i need something that's still gonna make me look cute but also help my edges to breathe and just less maintenance so a headband wig is really a good option if you are interested in one of those so this is what the inside of the cap looks like Okay, I'm gonna flip it inside out. There is a comb at top here, 
comb on the sides okay and there is not a comb at the bottom so it's rather this oh there is i lied <laughs> see right here there's a comb right here so and then the strap is right there so this is just for adjustment it's velcro too which is really nice so I'm just worried it's gonna fit on my head the way it's supposed to. What the wig looks like, so you just probably wear it like halfway through and then let your actual hair show, pull out your baby hairs, do all that extra stuff. I feel like I've been wearing way too many straights. Like I crimped my hair, I, I'm terrible at curling hair, but I crimped it for new style or I wear it bone straight, but I feel like the straight look can go to a rest, okay? We can, we can put that to rest. So I'm gonna probably install the curly one today just for a different look and to see how it fits. And with that being said, let's get into the curly one. Like, let me tell y'all, love me hair. Their, their hair is just, just, the texture is just bomb. So this is the curly hair. This is the deep wave. And I'm probably obviously gonna have to um, like brush this out a little bit to make it a little puffy, see what the length's looking like, or wear it wet if I really want to. Um, I'm gonna need to get me a lace front like this because that's part of my collection. Now, I feel like the band on this might be a little bit more secure. I don't know, but I feel like it might be more tighter. I totally, totally love this hair. This is all I had to show you guys pertaining to the hair. And now I'm going to get into the installation. So keep on watching. <laughs> y'all i know i almost never show my real hair <sighs> here it is it's dirty though kind of i need to wash it and i do not have that many edges but i have a big forehead as y'all can tell my hair has been through it y'all but it's officially growing and there's this product my sister recommended to me that is doing amazing for my hair right now this is going to be my second time using it and already i can tell a difference it's got my hair stretched out soft manageable i mean my my hair has never been like this which is exactly why i always keep it in a wig or a protective style but this 
my 4C hair cooperating, not disrespecting me, it's gotta be God. I'll probably show y'all uh, later on the product, what I use, because I will wash my hair and put these up in twists and then go ahead and put on the um, headband wig. So we are gonna move on to part two, no, part three, because this is part two, which is taking down my uh, wig and cornrows, okay? So keep watching. All right, y'all, so my hair is washed and this part fell out, but my hair is washed. So now I'm about to put these in twists and then proceed to apply the wig. <laughs> half my head I'm gonna do the other half now y'all so this is my hair twisted up this product is amazing this Juneberry product is doing wonders because I have never twisted my hair for it to still be this thick and full after twists usually it's really like just it's usually like shrunk because of how much product I've put in it so for it to be like this is amazing as y'all can see earlier I was able to put it up in a ponytail and everything next step is putting on this wig cap and what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and, actually, I should probably do this. Put my hair in like a bun or something. So I'm gonna do one single braid. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Your twists don't have to be perfect because once again, like, 
only only like a part of your hair is actually going to show the rest of it is going to be a wig so you don't have to be perfect so like that i did one braid and i'm going to kind of i was going to try to tuck it but i'm going to just do that okay and then i'm going to put this wig cap on You can gel your edges, or gel like the front of your hair if you need to, to make it lay better. You can do that, but I don't really think I'm gonna need to do that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on. Crossing fingers because I hope this band is tight enough for my DVD head, okay? So it's a Velcro, so just attach the Velcro. And I'm going to put the comb through my hair as well. Okay, and then if you want to adjust the band, first of all, place the wig properly and then adjust your band. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is low key not laying flat enough for me over here. So, what I'm going to do next is pull this thing back and adjust this strap. I try to do it with my head like low down, but it doesn't work. So, I'm just going to do it like this. And yes, we have it, guys. Now, this is pretty secure. I must say, I do like this. What do y'all think? I have a five head, y'all, so don't mind me five head per day so this is where you would probably i'm probably gonna lay let me let me lay my front see if it's gonna make it look cleaner give it a more cleaner appearance okay so let's see all right so i do want this to lay flatter my phone is so ghetto it did not record everything that i did i literally took my edge control i'm gonna show you guys this is the edge control that I used. My cousin got it for me from Ghana and I used a edge brush. Not this one. I used the one for my wig because the bristles for some reason are harder on that one. Um, this is like a really nice snug. I'm so mad because I did the whole, whole installation and it just didn't fit. Anyway, so as y'all could tell, I just used edge control to slick my edges down a little bit. Um, and I'm going to fluff this wig out because this is giving me pure on t vibes right now i'm really mad like i installed the whole thing and my camera was not recording it this entire time like this is so ghetto i can't i can't live like this y'all i'm gonna need one of this but like a lace front like a 30 inch lace front of this i'm gonna see if i can put combs the combs in this because i feel like it low-key feels like it can come off easily and we want this baby to stay. Y'all, it feels really snug, I'm not gonna lie. It's not like too tight, it's not too loose. I'm going to put the combs under the wig cap and through it. Let's see how that fits, right? Okay. All right. Definitely feeling much more snug, but I'm gonna need this wig band to not be so, so hard. Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Right, because I got the wig cap on, I'm gonna slide this wig cap a little back, a little bit further, okay? So y'all get to see me put this on again because the wig cap low key should probably go back a little further because i do want the clips on this to give me some extra security like the last thing i need is my wig to be sliding off on a regular because mm. after all this is like a half wig so the security is not going to be the same as a lace front that's why you kind of want your combs to do their job if you choose to wear this with combs but i feel like once you put a baby hairs out on this. It's gonna be so cute. I'm gonna push this back a little further. 
And then we're gonna wear this again and try again. I'm gonna put the back comb. Y'all can see the back comb. Okay. Oh, that fell off. Okay, so we'll put the back comb. Y'all can tell. Then we're gonna bring the front forward like so. I gotta adjust the headband part. Okay. So it looks like that. But I want my combs, right? So I'm gonna bring this a little back. Make sure the comb is under the wig cap. Maybe I'm gonna move this back even further. I don't know. I don't know. I'm almost gonna probably go without a wig cap because at this point, this thing wants to If I want the combs to secure it, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm gonna try without a wig cap. Let's see. Okay. Probably gonna bring this back here. Okay. And we want this. I still feel like this, it just be like. I'm going through it, y'all. I still feel like this is probably gonna be all the way back here because if i want the band to be placed appropriately like here then the wig has to be like almost falling off my head but this is still giving me auntie vibes like i'm really going through it guys i can't live like this anymore i can't do this i cannot do this I just want some security. I just want some extra security. Is that so hard to ask? Yes. All right, let's see. Okay, so if I want it like that, I'm gonna have to wear this all the way at the back of my head. Y'all see what I'm talking about? If I want it to not look so much like an auntie wig, I got to make sure the wig is like all the way at the back. Okay, so I kind of like this. My phone died while I was trying to show y'all this. So I ended up going in with my got to be gel because the edge control literally is only good for my edges. So it didn't really hold and slick the rest of my front, the edges like the way I wanted it to. So I just went ahead with got to be glue and yeah i'm definitely gonna wear this with the combs which is gonna cause me to not wear a wig cap because the wig cap can only go can only slide back so far before it you know just basically starts coming off so now i'm just fluffing out the hair i'm gonna need my edges because my five head is on display yay but y'all look at this hair i love this it's 26 inches so this is just the um the i literally only have the combs in it's all the way the combs is all the way back here but it's really giving me the security that i want so i have no complaints it fits just fine i was really worried if it was gonna actually fit um well on my head because i have a small head and a lot of the wigs that are like one size for all don't fit on people with small heads but it fits perfectly on mine i love this okay so yes guys this is the complete look my five head is on full display but it's okay so let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video